So the stage of this project is this main hall. So this main hall was built around 400 years ago. This project has two objectives. One, to preserve the original Husumai drawn by Kano Ryoke, and two, for an artist connected to Kyoto to create new Husumai decorations that will be enjoyed for the coming 300 to 400 years. Kyoto is one of the world's great cultural cities. It seems to me that if nothing changes, Japan's cultural properties are destined to decay and fade away. I feel uneasy about this. It is our responsibility to create the finest artworks possible and give them to future generations. Taizoin was founded 600 years ago by the third head of Myoshinji Temple. This main hall is designated as a national important cultural property. Taizoin has a Muramachi period dry landscape garden that was designed by Motonobu Kano in the early 16th century. So the artist challenge is a big one. The chosen painter will be required to live in Taizoin for the three-year project duration. What is more, that person will not be allowed to touch a paintbrush for the first six months. Instead, the artist will undertake strict Zen training and travel the country, taking in a wide variety of new study experiences. Some 30 people applied to this project. Eight of those successfully made it through to the final screening where we decided to offer the challenge to Yuki Murabayashi. Miss Murabayashi is from Kobe. She has lived in Kyoto for six years when she was a student of university and graduate school. So we believe she has the courage and commitment to do this. She promised us that she would draw all 64 who smile. We also like that she draws bold lines. This shows her determination. This is the reason we chose her. Every day after she gets up, she sweeps up the precincts and mops the floors. The temple is a place of Buddhism. She won't be able to create appropriate artworks unless she understands the concept of Buddhism and wall of the temple. One day she picked up the camellia flower as she was sweeping up the precincts. She took it back to her room and began to draw a camellia on the Fusuma doors there. I am delighted to find she was engaged in activities with an eagerness to create as she goes about her daily life at the temple. Just as we were developing this project last March, the Great East Japan earthquake struck the Tohoku region. In a similar way, Keicho Fushimi earthquake devastated Kyoto in 1595. The following year, this main hall was founded. 
People in those days who had met with disaster hoped that the magnificent main hall and fine Husumai paintings would become a symbol of Kyoto recovery. I think it is meaningful to create new artworks at this time, anticipating their importance lasting for 300 or 400 years to come. I'd like to create artworks that will make a profound impact on you. I have a dream that one day Kyoto will be the capital of art, like Florence in the Renaissance period, by continuously infusing new art spirit into the traditional things. Only Kyoto can realize this dream. Exciting opportunities such as these do not occur every day. I hope that a large number of people will be inspired to come and watch the production activities. I hope that many many people will share my excitement as these new artworks are created. <laughs>